Welcome back. I'm Steve. We have Tomas behind the camera and Corey's right here. What's up, guys? What the hell is going on here today? <laughs> <laughs> Jay is feeling pretty sick. He's got the fever and, the you know, bug. the bug going <laughs> the bug. on. So Corey and I are kind of doing a little takeover. So I figured this is a great opportunity to get into some powder coating questions because All right. Corey here is the powder coat deluxe supreme master I'm the powder coating guy how many masks would you say that you do in a day i mean that can vary weekend orders time of the season uh just the, the team <laughs> i mean like they could have hundreds 200 300 400 face masks 500 i mean like it's a lot but i mean and then in between all that, you're getting all the single orders, Ebays, and people going. Yeah, a bunch of Ricos. People send in single orders for Ricos, just like the teams, uh, just on a smaller, way smaller scale. <laughs> so, so when you say Rico, what what that means is you buy a face mask, whether it's from us or anywhere else in the world. Right. You play with it for, well, the NFL is one game. Some high schools get a whole season, right? Yeah. Noxy has a standard kind of protocol and they say if you have five points of metal showing somewhere on the face mask, it's time it. to get recoded, right. right? So the recoats, if you go to greengridiron.com under reconditioning, rather than buying a whole new face mask, you can get it reconditioned. I mean, that's what we do here. Yes. That's how Green Grid Iron started, Correct. right? Yeah, I started doing it and man, like it's, it's more therapeutic to do it for me now. Like I can go down there and just crank them, crank them and crank them and crank them and it's, you do a great job at it. The, <laughs> the thousands of masks that go out of our doors a week, it's really unbelievable. Yeah, you're not the only one doing it, but you're, yeah. you're kind of the guy down there. You, you, got, you, you can spread your wings and you've got your layout. Oh, yeah. And everybody knows when, when Corey's in his zone, stay out of the zone. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we appreciate the attention to detail that goes into it Thanks, because man. it's um, the the face masks come in from teams. They're pretty banged up. Some oh, of them yeah. are nasty. They're dirty, and Thanks. it's not just that they're banged up. It's like you have to disassemble the hardware from them. A lot of people keep yeah. it right. Yes, that is. I mean, it's it's a pain, but part of the job. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. let's chalk it up. I've tried the master my whole technique with this face mask dip and the helmet hanger dip and mm -hmm. just everything that I do in general, I'm trying to, I'm just, I just try to be more efficient with everything, the face mask, the helmet hangers, just everything that comes in this door that I put my hands on, I try to be as efficient as I can. Time is money. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Some face masks are carbon steel. Some are stainless steel. Some, some are, are hollow tubes. Some are titanium. Yeah. What happens with that? Does that throw you off or is it kind of the same numbers? For the most part, the numbers stay the same. Um, I've noticed with some of these titanium styles, like it doesn't really, like it takes just a little bit longer for the, the coating to set. So when I'm dipping them or whatever and I pull them out for, for them to be done, like I kind of pull them out premature, I guess, yeah, premature. And like, cause they're cooking when I take them out and they're still hanging up. So I mean, oh, that kind of, yeah, that kind of helps with the whole process. Well, anybody who's ever really played around in the kitchen knows you take a steak out, you leave it for a couple of minutes. You don't cut it cause right. it's still kind of cooking yeah. inside. It's kind of the same thing. Not with food. I mean, it's not food. <laughs> <laughs> All you had to say, Corey, was yes, it's identical. No, I mean, to me, that's where I'm thinking about it. it just yeah, shows yeah, I mean, if you know how to cook, I can't mean, say if you know how to cook, then you can bake a face mask. I mean, <laughs> but I mean, along the same lines, yes, it's kind of the same. Okay. Yeah. All right. If you go to greengridiron.com and you go to the reconditioning tab, yep. you or if you go to buy a helmet hanger or a face mask, um, you can choose your color. I think we have 33. Around 32. There's a couple extras that. You know, it's I a lot them, of. I got them locked away down there. It's a lot of colors, and it's nothing against any other company. It's just they don't come close to that. Most yeah. most other places you ever buy a face mask from, I think a it's handfuls, six, yeah. maybe nine colors. Something like that. So, and I we like being able to go that extra mile and kind of you know we're a small enough company where we can be nimble to be able to do those little changes, yeah. but we're big enough to fulfill orders of. 20, 30,000 masks a month. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it's interesting Cranking stuff. Out. Cranking them out. No, no <laughs> doubt, man. And, right. and we, we appreciate it. So, Corey, 
I want to thank you for coming on the show. It's been a long time. It's been a while, man. It's, it's <laughs> been a while. Um, I hope that you guys like this. It kind of educates you a little bit more on the powder coating process. If Give us feedback. Give I need feedback from y'all guys. Man. That's true. Let us know. You know, is this the kind of video that you like to see? I know everybody likes behind the scenes kind of stuff. If you have any other questions or concerns, let us know in the comments below. And until next time, cheers. Peace.